Well, good morning from Twin Lakes State Recreation Area. Today, uh, Beethoven stayed back at the uh, campsite. It's just the boys and I. We're here, uh, I'm gonna show you around a little bit. Now the sign there says that park hours are year round 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. But I believe that's for day use because uh, it's long established that you can camp here. And last year, uh, a game warden came through and I asked him if uh, he could tell me how long you were allowed to stay. He said no one had ever asked him that. So a couple days later he came back and he said he checked and it's 14 days. So that's nice. Now there's the other lake down there and there is a boat launch down there. Just show you the little round area here. It's all farmland. Here's the entrance road right here. Lakeside use area. Okay, buddy. When we uh, drove up through Nebraska and into South Dakota, it's pretty much all farmland. Hundreds of miles of farmland. Beautiful farmland too. Uh, it's amazing how many crops we produce for ourselves and the rest of the world. <clears throat> so here we are coming in. And if you watched, we were here last year around this same time for like a week or two. And if you uh, watched that uh, video, this is pretty much a repeat, but this is something I didn't show you then. And what is this? This is, it's kind of thick grass here. This is a hand pump water fountain. Okay, there's the fountain there on the front. But this one's a little different because it has this attachment that has like a spray up at the top. So if you went swimming in the lake, you could come over here and take a shower. Of course, that's not working anymore. It hadn't for a long time. The handle's off it too. The same as one I'm going to show you over here by the pavilion. <clears throat> this this is a uh, big area right here as you first come in. This is a parking area here and it's got curbing to show that this is a parking area and the limit of it. This curbing has sunken into the ground but it goes down here to this big tree or big shrub so you could put a couple big rvs in here i'm talking class a motorhomes yeah and this over here is a nice area too now here see that curbing there's curbing all down along here and so this would be a big parking area too you could get four or five Big RVs in here probably. Nice little uh, pavilion with a uh, picnic table. Here's the other hand pump. This also is not operative and the handle's off it. But just to show you the uh, how it used to be. Uh, What's that say? Monitor. Baker Manufacturing Company, Evansville, Wisconsin. Lift to fill. So I guess you lift this and kind of primes it. Okay, so over there under the tree is a uh, fire ring, a metal fire ring, and also a charcoal grill. Come on, buddy. My loyal Mr. Berkeley with me. Elton went on down a little ahead of us. He always likes to be in the lead. 
So now here in the beginning, we've got these big open areas that people could park for like day use or uh, you know, if you had big RVs, you could you could pull them in there. When we were here last year, there was a fifth wheel that was in this first camp area here. And this is a pull through. This one right here. That's a pull through. And what the folks did, uh, they were here first weekend and they left it and they came back the following weekend and they only lived about 30 miles away so I guess they just didn't feel like towing the uh, fifth wheel back and forth so they just left it here which granted it's not real busy here but uh, still you know that's taking the campsite away from somebody else that might want to use it. But they were nice folks. We uh, we talked to them. They are also the ones who cut down all the uh, tall grass right along the uh, shoreline here of the lake, so that they could uh, let their kids get out in there and swim. And uh, they had a pond, or not a pontoon boat, but a tri haul boat. And they uh, they pulled it right up there to the to the bank does have uh, vault toilets and we'll take a look inside here which we'll is you know I guess we could look in both here's the men's side and you know what it's pretty clean no trash on the floor got a trash bin there that's empty got toilet paper pretty nice no cobwebs or anything Let's look in the ladies. Okay, same thing for the ladies. Nice and clean. Empty trash. Uh, no significant uh, cobwebs or, you know, like uh, um, hornet or wasp nests. Got toilet paper. Looks pretty good. Looks nice. Now, of course, I don't use the vault toilets. Uh, I like just using my own setup, but it's nice to have those nearby and, you know, folks that want to use them. Hopefully this is uh, sounding okay. I'm just using the mic off the cell phone. I tried doing this video last evening and I used the external mic, believing it was fixed. And it had all that crackling noise back again, so I've either got to play with it some more. Oh, excuse me. No belts there. Of course, I got my coffee in one hand here, camera in the other. Now, as we come down here, there's these nice little sites here that uh, are kind of amongst the trees. And each of the sites, of course, has a uh, metal fire ring. But there's three of them on the left side. This is uh, coming out of the pull through. These sites are they're pretty nice here. They uh, back up against the woods. We're the only ones here. We're the only ones. There was, hasn't been anybody stayed over or wasn't ugh, trip over your tongue much there, there wasn't anyone here when we got here yesterday we got here around 5 30 in the afternoon and uh so we took our spot that we had last year which is right here and it's it works out nicely for us We've got a nice view of the lake behind i'm going to put the sunshade up here in a little bit but uh, let's, let's walk on down here a little further. At the back of the road here, there's a loop. There's no camping sites back here, it's just a loop. 
but they they really keep this place nice I mean there's hardly any trash um, I saw where somebody dumped a bunch of cigarette butts out up in the very front there uh, but yeah they they keep the grass mowed here and it looks like they just mowed it recently <clears throat> okay so um, so you got three sites back in the trees on that side and you've got the site we're in and here's a little site here that's real close to us last year we there was a couple times that people used this and we uh, we met some real nice folks and um, hung out with them in the evenings and had a nice uh, nice time here so Anyways, uh, yeah, then on this side, you've got this site, you've got our site, and you've got the pull-through. So there's six sites back here, and then there's the huge amount of space up in the front. Uh, here, we, uh, of course, we've got a fire ring, too. I don't know that we'll use it, but... Uh, this is, this is nice. We've got some uh, folks that live here. You can see somebody lives in there and they go down and get some, I don't know, are these, what are these here? These little shell things there. I don't know if they're crabs or what, but uh, and they're probably not crabs. I don't know what they are from, but uh, they must go down here go go fishing and then bring them up here to eat and here's a hole over here too that's about two inches diameter this one here is more like about four inches diameter so uh yeah just pretty area Nobody here except us. How nice is that? <laughs> this is state land on this side. Where those houses are over there is private. That's private land. But uh, this is nice. I really like it. Yucky Lord. We had a good night last night. It was cool. It went down into the 60s. Felt great. Good sleeping weather. All right, well, that was the tour of Twin Lakes State Recreation Area. We are, I think, about six miles away from Woonsocket, South Dakota. And we will, we're probably going to stay here for a week or two. Um, it's a nice area. It's uh, quiet, peaceful. Lots of birds. Do have biting flies here too. Just like we did back at the uh, Washington State Fishing Lake in Kansas. But I don't think we're going to be able to get rid of those. They're, you know, I just put the spray on and that helps some. But they're just nuisance. And, uh, nuisance. And they, uh, they predominantly come out, it seems like, in the afternoon. They're out when the uh, sun's pretty full and hot. And then as it cools down in the evening, they disappear. Which is nice. Alright guys, take care. Have a great day. And you'll see, see more of this area. We'll take some walks and enjoy it some more. Alright. Have a great day. And we will talk to you later.